Hey guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back once again to Solid Gold. As you might remember from about two years ago on my channel, I ordered a custom made felted goldfish piece to resemble a fish that I had named Minai. And I ordered it from an artist named Deme Tiyubi from Japan. And she has an Etsy store where you can purchase her works and she also has a Facebook page where you can send her custom requests for things. This is what I got at that time and isn't it gorgeous and beautiful? I love it. I'm absolutely in love with it still. But as I kind of teased a couple of months ago, I was submitting an order for a brand new art piece of one of my current fish and I was having you guys guess what fish it was going to be. and guess what? It came in the mail. So I'm going to open it on camera and show you guys what it is and how awesome it is and I'm super excited. So let's get started. My cats are really excited too. They think anytime a new package comes in the mail, it's for them. This is one well-sealed box, man. Woohoo! I finally got it open. <laughs> Grim. Ooh, I see some color in there. Can you guys see that? Grim. Chill out. Okay, there's bubble wrap covering it. Oh my gosh, look at how big it is. Wow. There is a little package in here. So I'm gonna exercise some incredible restraint and open this first. Oh my gosh. Okay, this package is adorable. It has like cute little red and white checkered paper and then an adorable little goldfish sticker on it. This is made by, this, this is goldfish sticker tape that's made by another goldfish artist that I love and I follow on Instagram and Facebook. And I can't think of their name right now, but I'll put a link to them in the description as well. I love their work. And I've tried to purchase their work as well, but um, the artist said they didn't ship to the United States and I'm so bummed. Let's see what's in this adorable thing. Ooh, there's some adorable little origamis in here. Cute. One of her business cards. She's got a little instruction sheet. What I loved so much last time is she had this little handwritten instruction sheet with little illustrations that actually matched my felted goldfish that said like this felted goldfish is not good in cigarette smoke or does not do well when exposed to water or with cats and it had custom illustrations that matched my my felted art piece it says please do not put it in the damp place please be careful about pets and wool felt is poor at a strong smell the pet thing yes definitely one of my cats unfortunately got a hold of the smaller one that I ordered last time. I got one of the little keychain ones and they pulled apart half of the tail. So that one is partially ruined. So yes, don't let your cats get a hold of these things, you guys. Oh my gosh, she sent me some adorable postcards. I love these. I am definitely going to put these in frames and hang these up around my office. She has this adorable thing where she always posts pictures of her cats with her felted goldfish pieces on like Instagram and Facebook and stuff and it's so cute. Another goldfish and cat lover just like myself. So good. So good. Okay. Here we go you guys. Are you ready for this? Oh my gosh, it's huge. Wow, this is a lot bigger than the last one. Again, it's sealed with that adorable sticker tape from that other goldfish artist that I like. Oh my gosh, this is already a million times better than I thought it was gonna be, and I already thought it was gonna be awesome. Oh my gosh, look at that. As you can probably tell by now, it's Clyde, my telescope, my butterfly telescope panda, who is no longer a panda, but this is what he used to look like about a year ago. Graham. And she puts some slightly flexible wire in the tail fin and in the dorsal fin too, actually in all the fins really. So that's what I love about these because you can bend and flex the tail fin and all the fins into whatever pose you want. Look at how fat she made him too. I love that. She made him so fat. And it's great.
great because he really is that fat. He's a little fatty. And I love that. Like that's one of the things I love about him. And so I love that she captured that. So how I did this is I messaged her on Facebook and I just said, Hey, uh, you might remember me from a little while ago because you made a custom piece for me and I loved it. Would you be willing to make another one for me? Only this time I want to go bigger and I want to send you pictures of a fish that I have currently and have you recreate it. And she said that she would do it but she was really booked up because she had some art shows to do. Uh, but as soon as she had a chance she would get back to me and start working on it right away. And so I said sure. And I sent her a whole bunch of pictures and I even sent her a video of Clyde. Once she started work on it, she sent me progress pictures and I even had some input on how I wanted it to look as a finished product. product. So the eye color wasn't quite how I wanted it and I was able to say, hey, um, I really love it, but can we switch out the eye color for something different? And she said sure and she gave me a couple different options and I was able to pick which option I liked the best. She makes it exactly the way that you want it to be and these aren't cheap guys but I'll show you some really close up shots of this. You can see how gorgeous this is. Every single piece that she makes is an individual work of art and well worth the cost and the price associated with it. Clyde has some scales that are a little bit shinier than the rest of his scales so I even had her attach some different pieces of fabric that have glitter in them for uh, those particular scales on him. So he even has some areas on his body that have different fabric to show those different more sparkly scales. And he has his two little orange dots on his side which are have always been there since he was little and it's kind of like his defining characteristic. He's got his red eyes, he's got his adorable panda coloration in his fat belly, he's got his pouty little mouth and his little black spot under one of his eyes that he had at that time. Um, she put in like subtle color variations that a goldfish and him in particular actually has. It's just so realistic and the fins are made out of a see-through material so they look realistic as well and then she puts color through them so she can make them look the color that they're supposed to be as well. This is just amazing. I just love it. I love it so much. But wait, there's more. What else do we have in here? Guys, there's three more things in here. What could that be? We have an adorable little Blackmore keychain. Oh my gosh, so cute. It's got almost like a purplish hue to it and the scales are purple on top and then it switches to kind of a yellow color on the bottom. And it looks like it's a butterfly telescope. We also have an adorable little, what looks like it's probably some kind of Ryukin or a butterfly Ryukin or a broadtail Ryukin red with pink outline scales which switch to yellow at the bottom and white outlined gills so cute and the third keychain we have is a red aranda with a cute little bulbous head with a wen and orange outlined scales which switch to yellow at the bottom and white outlined gills again. So these are meant to be cell phone straps, keychains. You can put them on anything though, like a backpack, a purse, or you can just take off the keychain because it does have a little clip on it, a little clasp. So you can just take that off and set it on a bookshelf for display which is what I would probably do. I have a big surprise for you guys. I am giving away Thanks to the generosity of Deme Tiobi, who sent me these for free to give away to you guys. I'm giving away these three to three of you lucky viewers. And all you have to do is leave a comment down below. And I would like you to leave a comment letting me know what is the first solid gold video that you ever watched. 
So leave me that comment in the comment section below. If you are under the age of 18, please do get your parents' permission before entering this giveaway. Only one entry per person. If I do see that you're leaving multiple comments down below, I will delete your entry and you will be excluded from the giveaway. Only one comment per person will be allowed to make it fair. I will be selecting the winners at random, completely random. There's going to be three winners because there are three prizes to win and the winners will be selected exactly one week from now. When I select the winners, they will be posted on my website which is solidgoldfish.com so you will need to go there to check. I'm not going to be messaging anybody saying that they won because that's how people actually get scammed. People have been scammed before. They make up a fake account that says that they are solid gold when really they're not. And then they send my viewers messages and have them click on a link that gets their computer a virus or something. I don't know. So I'm not doing it that way anymore. If you get a message from me that says you won, please do not click on any link. It's not me. I don't inform you that you won that way. The way that you'll find out if you won is by going to solidgoldfish.com in one week from now and I will have it very prominently displayed who the winners are. So just check there, and if you are one of the winners, I will just ask you to contact me, and the information on how to do that will be very clear. And if you don't contact me within 48 hours, I will move on to the next winner, and they will have 48 hours to contact me to claim their prize. I love it so much! Good luck in the giveaway, and remember, even if you don't win the giveaway, you can always go to DemiTUV's Etsy or Facebook page, and order these on your own. They are about 3,000 Japanese yen each, which comes out to roughly about 25 US dollars. And thank you so much for watching. Until next time, stay gold.